welcome back guys this is a special one because I just reached 2000 subscribers and I wanted to thank you for all your support because none of this would be possible without it so today I decided to answer some of your mo most asked questions about diving and about this build and I hope this will uh, help you better understand how to dive and how to use this build efficiently. Before we start, I want to announce the this video's giveaway. It will be 10 bunnies. So you need to make sure you are subscribed and you just comment your IGN down below in the comments. And I'll pick an, uh, the winner in my next video. Don't forget the giveaway, it's only for West at the moment. I wish you all guys good luck. Let's talk about uh, diving in general and what kind of players you'll be able to find. Most of them are uh, players with no PvP experience and plus they have uh, mostly PvE build equipped. Uh, sometimes they will wait for the 90 seconds and you'll find them at the gate but sometimes you're lucky and they go inside the dungeon and you'll find them already without cooldowns and low HP so this is another advantage that you have also if the dungeon is close enough to the gate then sometimes if you are the first one to get in they will come without bubble and that's a big mistake, a big no-no to do, to go in a dungeon without bubble. Especially when you know someone is already inside. And that's another thing that you can take advantage of. The most common question that I receive is where to dive. The answer is simple and also not that simple because as a general area there's no exact map where you can do it you can do you can do it in whatever t5 map in the black zone near the portal zones but the secret is to just find a, a group of dungeons in that map and just create a route and reset the dungeons every time just go in and out in and out in and out and after 90 seconds the dungeons will despawn and th that spot will be empty for uh, for the time when someone will pop a map and they usually pop the maps in the portal and the chances are equal for each map to spawn that dungeon also the dungeon spots are kept the same until the next reset so after each reset, the dungeons will have different spots for 24 hours. I recommend finding uh, around 5 to 10 dungeon spots and keep them empty in the eventuality someone uh, pops a dungeon map. And you have more chances for that to dungeon to spawn on your uh, route. What I want to add here is that a spot can spawn a solo dungeon, a um, corrupted dungeon, a wisp, uh, and a hell gate. So when you see one of those things, you know that there's a spot where a solo dungeon can spawn. In my experience so far, I've dived in Limhurst, in Bridgewatch, and for Sterling. Uh, there's no one city better than the other. You can do a lot of money in all of them. I stayed in for selling the most because m all my guilds that I've joined were uh, for selling based and I've made a lot of friends there. And sometimes it's easier to dive people when you're friend with some of the guilds that are ganking around those maps. But the beauty of this build is that it's cheap and you don't really care if you get ganked in it. For example, I have days where I die around 20 times and that's still fine because I make way more profit than that. You just need to prioritize what's important for you. And plus, 
dying is not also a bad thing because it gives you more uh, insight about how you can counter other builds and gives you experience and that's the first thing I recommend to new players to just grab a 60k build and go out there and fight win or lose you'll get more experience and next time you know how to counter that build and I showed the build in episode 17 uh, the, it's have hasn't changed since since then and you can go there and uh, just see what skills and passive uh, I have on me another thing yes I have max spec uh, in my fire staff 700 in fire staff and 900 in, in everything else uh, this came in time it's not something you can do immediately it's not required for you to have max spec as I demonstrated in episode 27 where I made s around 6 mil profit with no specs on a f newly created character and yes without specs your win rate will be lower but because of the cost of the bid you'll st still make a lot of profit about how to use your build you just go with wall against melees and with flame blast against range weapons if uh, my target already went inside the dungeon to fight mobs uh, the only thing i like to do is go with wall uh, and uh, also swap my boots to rejuvenating sprint I go for wall because uh, sometimes you can catch them between your wall and the mobs if they are fighting the mobs and that's a, a big advantage that you can get. Big counters to this build are the ball caster with the sleep helmet, spears on reflect and maybe a good user of a battle axe. Also, Rigi Bow is pretty strong, but you can kill it, but it will be close. For swaps, if you feel you don't like the Hunter Hood or you don't hit it at the correct time, maybe you can go with the Guardian Helmet. This will give you a lot more defense. And for Open Wall, maybe you can swap your boots to Rejuvenate in Sprint. You could also try to go with a uh, Gigantify Potion. For this build to work, you need the first skill, the Aggressive uh, Caster, uh, Passive, and the uh, Tomo Spells. This will give you all the, attack sp the higher attack speed. Another question that many players are asking is uh, how much profit I make per day from diving. Uh, this is not an exact, num exact number, uh, sometimes I make as low as 10 mil, a uh, good day is 20 mil and my best day was 85 mil. So there's not an exact number when it comes to profit. I think the average is above 10 mil. If you have more questions about uh, this activity or this build, just put them in the comments down below and I'll try to make another video like this one where I'll answer uh, your questions. If you enjoy this content, don't forget to like and, and subscribe and don't forget about the, the giveaway for the 10 bunnies. And yeah, enjoy the rest of the video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Strong and fake a smile until I look away But I've known you too long It hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to gray As you fade away As you fade away
yeah, I'm about to fade away. Cause every time I wake up, I feel like it's Monday. Something's going wrong with all the chemicals up in my brain. All of a sudden, I don't look at anything the same way. Gotta build up of my thoughts sitting in an ashtray. I'm sorry that I'm so inconvenient, okay? Just let me be me and I'll stay out of your way. I can see the way you look at me, I'm such a disgrace. I never really asked to be brought into this place. You wanna love me? Well, then, baby, have a taste. All the highs and the lows, no, you'll never be the same. I don't really wanna hurt you, but I can't control the pain. If you're sticking by my side, maybe we can be okay. Okay, okay, maybe.